Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not a professional mechanic, but I do spend an awful lot of time working on my car, and today I'm doing drum brakes. Veteran viewers of this site will recognize this wheel. This is Katrina, she's a 2001 Saturn SC2, and today we're doing the rear brakes, which are drum brakes on this vehicle. To start out, you want to block the tires, jack the vehicle up, and use jack stands. See my other videos to hear me preach about that. Then, you take off the wheel cover, just by loosening these plastic nuts here. We're going to take off the wheel. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that you don't have your emergency brake on, which you'll be able to tell. If the wheel spins, the emergency brake is most likely not on, unless there's something really wrong with your emergency brake, in which case you have other issues. This is a front wheel drive vehicle, so there's no drivetrain to lock this up. Then you pull the drum off, which was surprisingly easy. Normally, you have to beat the living hell out of this thing to get it off. What ends up happening is a lot of times the brake shoes wear a ridge inside the edge here as well as this surface starts to rust and it bonds with this surface here. And I, with a file, put a little bit of a bevel on this edge so that when the brake shoes wore in, they wouldn't create a ridge. That's probably why it was so easy to get off, but you know, I, I was still ready to hammer. Drum brakes are a little bit of a pain in the butt. It's because they have a lot of parts and it's really easy to forget how they go together. So before you start taking them apart, make note of where all the springs are and where all the connectors are. Notice that there's a spring that goes from here to here and the bulk of the spring is on this side. There's the retainers that hold it in with these with these caps and then there's springs behind them and these things push in and twist to remove. There is also this lever here which connects in and another spring down here that goes from this hole all the way over to this hole down here. Right below this spring there's an adjuster mechanism and it has this little spur gear right here so that as your brake shoes wear down it adjusts the brakes and pushes them out a little bit further so that you always have good braking from the start of your pad to the end. I'm going to remove these retainers. You grab the little pin twist it in such a way that the cap doesn't rotate and then the spring and the cap come off and the pin comes out the back. There we go. And the next thing that I need to do is take out this spring right here. Now I have this pair of brake pliers that I bought online. Let's see if this makes the job any easier. Actually, yeah. Okay. Score one for the brake pliers. Grab this spring down here. You can see that things are really moving around now. All right. That wasn't pretty, but I got it out. Okay, there's one more spring. There it is, you see it? Right there. It hooks right in the back of this brake pad here. So I'm going to maneuver these things out and then uh, take that spring out. You can see this little lever here, which is part of the adjuster. That just slides right out and then this side slides out and now I can take the shoe out and there is spring number three
This is the emergency brake lever, which connects to a caliper cable that goes all the way to your emergency brake lever. And there's another one on the other side. So we need to disconnect this. The way to do it is first you take out this little lever, which is part of the adjuster system. And then, here, turn this around and see if you can see it. All right, right there is a little C-clip. I am going to use a straight screwdriver. I'm going to just pull this thing right out. There. And there we go. Take off this little washer here. And pull that out just like that. So the new brake shoes actually come with a replacement plug and even another little C-clip thing. So that's great. Comparing the old brake shoe to the new brake shoe, I'm going to look at this so I can see the orientation. It sucks to put these things in backwards. So this thing goes in through there. You might have to finesse it. I am going to put in this plug. A little bit of grease and a socket and a C-clamp are going to help us out. And there it is. I'm going to take out the adjuster. I'm going to rotate this so that these two halves are as close together as they'll go. I'm going to do a quick cleanup with the wire brush here. Be careful not to tear up the boots here. It's time to put the first shoe back on. And to start with, I'm going to reattach the emergency brake lever. This little post here just goes right through that hole. I put this little C-clip thing on here. I don't like how loose this is in here, so I'm just going to use this pair of vice grips and I'm going to give them a little bit of a squeeze. Alright, now it's time to play. Let's see if we can remember how this whole thing goes together. This was in here. This is that big spring that was behind the brake shoes. This spring hooked around to the back of this shoe. And then the other end hooks right there. It'd be easier to stick it up through here and hook it. And then get the little ear of the brake shoe to go into this little part of the boot. There's a little cylinder there. Alright, so I've got the adjuster in place. And then bottom goes through this little tab. This is the spring that we just attached and it's hooked around the back through this little hole here and then through this little hole here and then here's the adjuster there's a gap on this side that lines up on this shoe and then for right now I just have the bottoms held in right here this is the spring that was on the bottom I'm just going to go through this hole here and then I'm going to try to hook the other side right there and then Oh, holy crap. That was great. For years, I've been doing this job with just regular needle nose pliers, and it's awful. So, I, I want to say that these were like 10 bucks on Amazon. Worth it! This is that adjuster lever. So, that hooks in right here. There's that adjuster lever, and you see how it goes into that notch that I pointed out before. That lever, the bottom part, you see how it lines up with the teeth on that little spur gear? I'm going to hit these springs with my wire brush just a little bit here. See? Cleans up nice. Uh, let me hit these pins a little bit. It's not that important. Just taking pride in your work. Alright, now it's time to put that last spring in place. So I'm going to use my, uh, my spring pliers here. 
and hold this right in the end here, just like that. And then I will hook this side, and then holding really tightly on the handle, there. You just hook right there. Now I take this little pin, and I push it through the hole in the back. There's the pin right there. It's always been a little bit tricky, getting these little things back on. You line this up, and you, you line up the slot with the, uh, the, the flat end of that pin. And then you push it in and you rotate it. I'm kind of wondering if this might actually work if it didn't have this, uh, whatever this edge is. I'm looking at it, it almost doesn't look intentional. I'm wondering if that's a manufacturing flaw. I'm not sure, but it sure doesn't work the way it is now, so I'm going to go cut that off and then try it again. Let's see if this works any better. Take the pin, push it through the hole. I have my spring and my little cap. Let's see if this has any better luck than my previous attempts. I'm just going to put this on top of here and push in and rotate. Well, holy crap! <laughs> All right. Score another one for the slightly modified brake pliers. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the pin on the other side. And boom! Woohoo! I've got a brand new wheel drum here. And this just fits right over here. I'll put the wheel back on the car. I'm going to pump the brakes so that that adjustment mechanism adjusts to the new pads. And uh, before I put everything together, I am going to bleed everything, but I'm not going to show you. If you want to see how to bleed brakes, I've got another video on that. Uh, the other side is going to look just like this one, so I'm not going to record that. So that's it. I will admit that I do not like doing drum brakes. They're kind of a pain in the ass. I like disc brakes a lot better, but, you know, you just have to do it sometimes. So... If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, how to change the rear drums and the shoes on a Saturn.